Are you still experiencing issues with your Wi-Fi signal? And you've already checked the physical location of your router? Well, in this video, I'll walk you through the settings that you can change within your router to get the most out of your Wi-Fi connectivity. So the first thing I'd like you to do is open up your browser of choice and go to 192.168.178.1 and this will take you to the Fritzbox main login screen. Here you'll need to enter the Fritzbox password that you'll find on the underside of the router and it'll be labelled as such. This is not to be confused with your WLAN password and should be a name or a word followed by a series of numbers. Once you have entered this, click login and you'll be taken to the Fritzbox main screen. Now, before we go any further, what I would encourage you to do if you haven't already is watch this video here, where I go into detail about what exactly it is your Wi-Fi signal is. The reason for that is your Wi-Fi signal is susceptible to interference by both other Wi-Fi devices and electrical devices. So I would also encourage you to watch this video if you haven't already, where we go into detail about what type of electrical devices can cause interference and what checks you can do to make sure that they're not affecting your Wi-Fi signal. If you have watched both of those videos and you've ensured that your router is not near anything electrical, what we now need to do is go to Wi-Fi and select Wi-Fi channel. Here, you'll see that your Fritz box is currently set to selecting your Wi-Fi channel automatically. Now, what this means is the Fritz box will automatically ensure that the Wi-Fi channel it is using is not being used by other devices, or at least as little devices as possible. You can see this by scrolling down. And here, this graph shows you that this router has automatically selected channel 6, as this is the least congested out of the frequency. So I can tell this by looking at the numbers per bar, and these numbers represent other Wi-Fi devices within my vicinity. So for example, if you lived in a built-up area, the chances are there will be a lot of these as these represent your neighbor's Wi-Fi devices. Now, if you're currently experiencing intermittent or slow performance over Wi-Fi, what you can do is perform another automatic channel scan by clicking on this button here, and then clicking OK. And what this will do is rescan the vicinity for other Wi-Fi devices that might be causing interference. Now, this is now completed. If we scroll down, what we can see is for the 2.4 gigahertz channel, the router has selected channel six. And for the five gigahertz channel, the router has selected channel 52. Now, if we scroll down to look at the bar graph as we looked previously, the router has remained on channel 6, as this is still the least congested out of the range. However, what we can see is channels 1 to 3 have jumped up, as there are additional Wi-Fi devices that have come online since previously scanned. Now, if you want to change this manually, you can do this here. And you would do this if the device that you're using is struggling on the current channel that has been selected. For example, if you're using an Amazon Fire Stick or a SkyQ device, these tend to struggle on the 5 GHz frequency when using any channel that isn't 36 or 40. Now, to fix this, it's very easy. All you do is go back up to the top where we have the drop down boxes, select the drop down box for the 5 GHz frequency, and select channel 36, and then click apply. This will now be applied, and as you can see, channel 36 is now showing. And if we scroll down, we can see that our Wi-Fi frequency is currently on channel 36. What you now need to do is test your Wi-Fi connection, and you can do this by using the service as normal over the period of 24 to 48 hours. If this continues as normal, then the good news is you've rectified your issue. If you are still experiencing issues, it is possible that you may be experiencing something known as radar detection. 
Now, I go into that in a lot more detail in this video here. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button below. If you want to see more videos like this, do please click on that subscribe button. And until next time, thank you very much.